It's your boy Boys Day X here on the second day in Rome I'm doing a vlog. It is my countdown to junior gold. I got three more days. Or, today is Tuesday, so Wednesday. Th I got two more days before I head out. Um, kind of excited, very excited. I have all my stuff packed. Just bought me some new Skull Candy earbuds. Not sponsored by Skull Candy, but Skull Candy earbuds. Um, and I got me some decks of cards. So uh, if y'all don't know me that well, I love cards. I love playing with cards. I love just fidgeting with cards. So that's exciting. Um, I know a lot of my friends are leaving today, tomorrow, Thursday. I have some friends are flying out there. Lucky. But no, <laughs> all around, overall excited. I just got finished bowling seven games. Great practice session. I averaged like 240 on some really weird conditions. Um, but overall, super excited. I'm probably going to bowl about 10 games more today. And I, I, I don't think y'all are understanding how, like, oh my gosh, Becky, this is junior goal number three for me. Um, <laughs> I just want to average 200 all week, and I'll be happy. If I average 200 all week, I'll make match play, and I will be more than grateful for how I bowled. Um, <laughs> no, so for the newcomers to Junior Gold, if you're not aware, it is hard. And I will give this, my first year of Junior Gold, I averaged 140 something. It was awful. So don't get discouraged by bowling bad. This is a completely new environment. Sorry if you can only just see my head today. Uh, this is a completely new environment. I'm going to change it so you don't just see my head. I thought that was really awkward. And um, overall... It is tough. It is excruciatingly tiring. Um, you're gonna have to wake up one morning at least at 5 a.m. Central Time uh, to get ready to bowl because you have a squad at seven and you have to be there by six. Um, a few little tips I like using is when we have practice squads, I don't like changing pairs. Uh, people usually, because practice squad, you get 40 minutes of practice on the pattern anywhere in the house, basically. Um, anywhere they allow you. And I don't like changing pairs because I think it's actually bad. Because if you change pairs and you're changing with the same people, you're not going to get understand how the breakdown works. So what I usually do is I station out in one or two pairs, and I just see how it transitions with all the new people coming to my pair. And how I can break it down myself. Uh, that's my first tip. Another tip is um, during practices, test everything. Test every line with every ball. Make sure you have Every idea, have your parents or yourself just write it down in a notebook. This ball did this at this arrow, this mark, yada, yada, yada. Uh, don't write yada, yada, yada. You'll sound like schnitzel from uh, Chowder, if anybody remembers that show, but probably not. <laughs> um, another tip, opening ceremonies. If you're in the first squad, okay, this is a personal preference unless you're really good at waking up, which I usually am, but still. If you're in the first squad, one through like eight, where you have to wake up at seven, or you have to wake up at like 5 a.m. for uh, Monday's, like, like Monday's practice, right? You have to wake up really early and all that. Walk on with your state, then leave opening ceremonies. You will not get out of opening ceremonies till about 12 o'clock at night. Okay, and if you have to get out of opening ceremonies at 12 o'clock at night, you have to wake up at five o'clock to get ready to go bowl at six. You're going to be tired. Um, so that's just another idea. I always like leaving. I walk on with the stage Georgia, and then I'm gone. I say hi to a few people beforehand. And I walk on and I leave. Because if I don't, I'm going to end up, you know, just exhausted. Even though I don't sleep much, I'm going to be just exhausted. Um, also, drink lots of water, body armor, something. Something that will refresh you and keep you hydrated. Because if you don't, you will die. You might not die, but you, you'll you'll get you'll get overheated and you could have heat stroke, pass out, that fun stuff, which we don't want. No. Um, and when it comes to your squads, don't worry too much. Have fun, and just try to stay ahead of transition. First thing is don't worry too much about what you do, especially if it's your first year. Uh, first year is always the hardest. I know guys will average like who average about two hundred in league, and they'll probably go. Um, I'm not dissing Anthony or Nick right now. I'm just making a general like statement from a few years ago. I, I saw some guys average 200. They would go their first year junior, they would average like 150. Yeah, it's bad. I mean, I was averaging 180 and I averaged 140. I almost quit bowling because of junior goal one year because of how hard it was. But that, that made me want to compete more. So don't worry too much, especially with your first one. Second off, have fun. If you're not having fun, there's no point of competing. Uh, if you 
Just just have fun. It's not hard. If throw a bad shot, laugh it off. Who cares? You do one bad shot. You have 16 games. One bad shot is not going to affect you unless you're right on the cut line. Um, and even in that case, it usually isn't one shot. Um, and number three, stay ahead of transition. Watch what other people are doing. Watch how they play the lanes. And then you can do the same thing usually. Um, lefties have a better... Uh, they have it better than us righties because, you know, they don't have... They have less people to watch, but they also have less breakdowns, so it's kind of its own benefit and not benefit at the same time. But overall, be excited, test everything, have fun, relax, um, hook up with somebody if you want to. I mean, have fun, meet up with some uh, people for you. I mean, opening ceremonies is cool. Just leave early if you have to wake up early. And when you register, talk to every college possible. I don't care unless you're already in college, talk to as many colleges as possible. You want as many people looking at you as it can be. The more people looking at you, the more chance you have for scholarship. And scholarship, last time I checked, was a pretty good thing. Also, talk to the professionals. Have fun. Meet people. Don't be afraid to talk to someone. Don't be afraid to say hi to someone you've never met before because you maybe never get that chance again. Well, what if you see Belmo and you want to meet Belmo? Say hi to him. Uh, I am gl- I'm gladly assuring you that no, none of the pre- professionals there will say, oh, I don't want to talk to you. 100% guarantee it won't happen. And if you just have fun, I promise you, you're going to be an awesome experience. I'm excited. I'm going to do a blog tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in Dallas Monday, in Dallas Tuesday, doing vlogs then. Why am I being so extra? I'm tired. And I will sign off with that. Have fun, Junior Gold. I'll see you all there. Salute.